My name is Russell Schumacher. I sold technology to the world back when there was technology. And people sell it to. The way a person talked about the fall was always revealing. Who they were was usually a function of what they believed. Travis Jay's theory of spontaneous combustion made perfect sense to me, given he was an engineering student and a horror movie buff. My friends thought I was lame working at a gas station, but I took the night shift, so I get paid to do my homework. It was about four in the morning when it happened. I know, because Freddy always came by on his way to the bakery. I couldn't believe my eyes, but I didn't have to. Since the security system ran off a battery, Travis suspected the camera taped the event before the EMP fried it. Hey, Travis, why don't you spontaneously combust for us? <laughs> and despite ridicule from the locals, Travis believed that surveillance tape could prove his theory. He figured out the only way to replay the tape would be to use older technology, the kind using vacuum tubes. So he built a sort of video playback machine with old recording equipment from the music studios around town. Mr. Schumacher, I think you're more excited than me to see what's on that damn tape. He said if I stuck around Nashville a while longer, I could watch his first test. When I got back to Alice, she was worried sick I'd been caught by Charles and Subu. I apologized. I told her I'd been with Travis. And the good news was, we might get answers soon to explain the fall. That set her off. She called Travis a fool, said I shouldn't be encouraging him. Why can't you people just accept things the way they are? I'd spent a week with Alice, and we'd gotten along so well. But I really didn't know her like I thought. Told her it was probably time for me to move on. She tried to explain that she didn't want things to go back to the way they were. That even without Nick, she liked the world better now. Without technology distracting us from what's really important. I finally realized Alice looked strong, but inside, she was scared and lonely. Her way of coping was to believe things were meant to be this way. You coming into my life, Russ? I believe that was meant to be too. She said me being around made her feel alive again. And she wanted to do something special for me. I warned Alice it was risky. If Charles and Subu were watching, they probably wouldn't take kindly to the fact that she'd lied to them. But she said it was a risk worth taking. For the first time since I left home, I was actually enjoying myself. Got lost in the moment. Forgot where I'd come from where I was going. Alice was right. Despite everything that was about to happen, that night was a risk well worth taking.